remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Social media has given way to a long list of dangerous viral trends. The Tide Pie Challenge, the Condom Snorting Challenge, the Freezer Challenge. Now they have a new challenge that is putting American kids' lives in danger. I say American kids specifically because they're the ones who seem to be up to all the dumb shit. So in this new challenge, you get a couple of kids who will trick their unsuspecting friend to stand side by side with them and get him to jump. Then, they kick his legs from under him, causing him to crash to the floor or the ground. It doesn't take a lot of imagination to realize that a game dubbed the Skull Breaking Challenge could lead to some grave health consequences. However, in this age of seeking attention, the quest for likes and shares. This type of stuff don't seem to be at the forefront of these youngsters' minds. They are so preoccupied with getting a damn like that they will risk their friends, their family, their own lives just to get some attention. In Cherry Hill, New Jersey on January 24th, that unfortunate fact led to two 13-year-olds to prank one of their classmates into participating in one of these videos. The classmate ended up in the hospital with a closed head injury and a concussion that caused a seizure. Now the two seventh graders who orchestrated this whole damn ignorant ass so-called prank has been arrested and charged with both third degree aggravated assault and third degree endangering an injured victim. Hence the statement, with friends like these you don't need enemies. What in the hell is wrong with these kids, man. We wanted to have fun. We did our pranks. We tricked our friends for jokes. But we didn't put our friends' lives in danger. We didn't put our own lives in danger for the sake of a joke. We had common sense. I mean, like, little, just regular-ass common sense. Like common sense would tell somebody the first time they see anybody doing that, they would say, damn, man, that's dangerous, man. You shouldn't do that. Somebody should speak out. Man, that's crazy. Y'all shouldn't do that. Somebody, anybody, everybody scream. What the hell is going on? It's very important that parents and teachers talk to these children and get it through their thick heads. It's about to say skulls, since we're talking about the skull breaking challenge. Get it through their damn heads that this is considered an assault. A kid jumps up, you kick their legs from underneath them. That is assault. They break a bone, if they get a head injury, if they die, your ass going to jail. You want to joke that? You want to you wanna laugh that damn bad? You're willing to risk your freedom? You're willing to throw away your future for a damn laugh? Fool, this 
this is why I watch comedy. I watch comedy because these guys get paid to tell jokes. These guys are professionals. This is what they do. Turn on the television and watch a show where people get paid, where it's organized, where they got ambulances on standby, medical uh, attendants, ready to spring into action if something goes wrong. Where are the damn leaders? Where are the young leaders? I know you're out there. It's time to step up. Speak up. Stop being a coward. Be the leader that you were born to be. Let your peers know, man, that ain't cool. That's what I used to do. I see something that wasn't cool, and I tell my home, man, that ain't cool. No, nah, I ain't doing that. Uh-uh. I did some stupid stuff. But that's one of those things I can guarantee you that I would say, nah, that ain't cool. And you better not do me like that. Oh, man. These moms, I'm guessing, had to be drinking alcohol, had to be doped up when they had some of these kids. Because this don't make any sense, man. How do you skip generation after generation after generation and you get to this generation and these kids are risking their lives for attention? Is there any kids out there who can just fall back and let your work speak for you? I know you out there. I know some of y'all. I'm just talking shit a little bit right now because I'm mad. But damn, man, it's important to talk to these babies, man. Kids nowadays, they have a skewed idea of what a prank is. I don't see what's so damn funny about tripping your friend and causing your friend bodily harm. You know the old saying, friends don't let friends drive drunk? Friends don't put friends in dangerous situations. Not true friends. Some of us, we don't really understand what a true friend is. You wouldn't put your friend's life in peril when you love that friend. You know that friend's mother. You know his father. You, you're familiar with the family. You've been inside the friend's house. You've broke bread. You've been welcomed into his house. And you put that kid's life in jeopardy. Do you know what kind of harm, what kind of pain that causes the parents? Probably didn't think about that, huh? Let me tell y'all something. When a prank causes injury or death, it's no longer a prank. It's a crime. And you will go to jail. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.